Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my travel makeup bag. So let's just get into the video. So I'm going away for a week to my mum's. Um, so I just thought I'd show you what I've packed in my travel makeup bag. It's just this clear bag that I got at Christmas time, you know when you get like little makeup sets for Christmas. It came in one of these and I just use this as my makeup bag because it's big and clear. So I'll start with face makeup, like the base. The first is the Rimmel Foundation Wake Me Up and it is in 200 soft beige and I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I just like to use these together and it's the right colour for me at the moment. Um, and yeah, I just love this because it's quite a full coverage but it's dewy so I like that as I don't really like a too matte face and if I do want to have a matte face I'll just powder more. So um, I like to use this with this. The next is concealer and it is in the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 20. I love this concealer, it's so good. It's kind of like the Bourjois one, the Healthy Mix one and the um, Collection 2000 one and I just love this. It comes in a dofer applicator and I like to put this under my eyes or on any blemishes as I'm breaking out a lot right now and I like to use my um, what's this called again? Real Techniques f Pointed Foundation Brush. Now I wouldn't really use this as a foundation brush because it seems quite small and it would take you quite a long time to use it so I just use it as my concealer brush and it works just wonders to get under the eyes and conceal any spots. The next thing is powder and it is the Rimmel Match Perfection loose powder and it doesn't come in a colour, I think it's just trans transparent um, and I just like to use this all over my face because at the moment I am getting oily skin and I like to just put this all over my face, a quite a liberal amount on like my chin and nose and it really does keep your makeup on all day and I really do recommend this and I use this with my Real Techniques powder brush which is just massive and it just covers your face quicker than like a little brush would. The next is bronzer and it's my favourite bronzer. I don't really tend to use any other bronzers. Um, I always stick to the Bourjois chocolate bronzer and I've hit pan but I think this will still last me quite some time. Um, it's just the right shade. It's quite orangey and I like that because it kind of matches my skin tone. Um, and I just like to put this on with an elf powder brush which is just like a flat top kabuki kind of brush. Um, I used to use this for my foundations but I just love to put it on for my bronzers and um, I like to just sweep this all over my face, my temples, my cheeks um, just to give me a kind of glow to my skin, well, not a glow but a, a bronzed look to my skin. Last for face products is the MUA Trio in Pink Sorbet, mostly for this colour, the lightest shade in it. Um, and I just use this as a highlighter. I put it on my cheekbones, down my nose, on my forehead and like kind of under my brow bone. Um, and I use the Eco Tools foundation brush with this. Um, and I think this just gives a lovely like highlight to your skin. I like quite a highlighted look. I don't really like the subtle highlight. I like to go for the full glitter ball effect. But it's not really glittery, it's just metallic. And I think this goes on quite well with this. Um, so yeah. The next section I'll move on to is eyes. First thing I've got is my MUA shade 19 in matte um, and it's just a eyeshadow that's just a matte brown and I really like this just for my eyebrows. Um, it's the right colour, it's kind of warm but not too browny because my hair doesn't really have a brown tone to it, it's more black. <laughs> um, so this kind of matches my eyebrows perfectly and I like to put this on with, this was a little brush I got with a gel eyeliner from e.l.f. Um, so it's just a little angled gel eyeliner brush that I like to use with my eyebrow palette. I also have my Urban Decay Primer Potion, the tiny one that came with the Naked palette, um, just to keep my eyeshadow in place and it's tiny enough to fit in my little bag and yeah, not really much else to say apart from it's a primer. For eyeliners, I'm going to be bringing my Rimmel Scandalize one in black. Um, I just love this, it's so pigmented. Oh. <laughs> It's just so pigmented. I like to put it on my waterline, like both sets, the top ones and the bottom, um, and smudge this out and it stays all day, um, which I usually get like 
the whole like black eyeliner down my face and I really don't like that look so this is highly recommended. I'm also bringing this this eyeliner from Avon and it is in the colour Emerald. Oops, just pulled off the chart now. Um, and I really just like this. It goes well with like if you're wearing like a gold or brown kind of eye and then you put green underneath with the eyeliner. I think it just makes my um, brown eyes just kind of pop a bit more and look more intense. So I just like to have a green eyeliner. I've also brought my liquid eyeliner from Rimmel and it's the Glam Eyes one. I've actually been getting into liquid eyeliner again recently. I kind of went off of it for months and months and months. But I've started to use it again. I'm not going on today. But um... Yeah, I'm really loving this and it kind of just defines my eyes a bit more. The last thing for like eyeliners and stuff, I've just got like a little pencil like, sharpener thing just to sharpen them. For eyeshadow, I've just got my Maybelline Colour Tattoo in On and On Bronze or Back to the Bronze or something um, in America. And it's a well loved as you can see. And this is just for the days that I can't really be like bothered to do like eyeshadow. I just want to put on a pop of colour. So I just put this on all over the lid, blend it out with my finger and it's done. So uh, this is just always like a staple in my makeup bag. And next I'm bringing my Urban Decay Naked Palette. Um, this is really like the only eyeshadow palette I'm bringing because I don't really want to bring a lot of like individual eyeshadows or other palettes. Um, I've really got all the colours I need in here. Um, so I can make a few looks out of this palette. So I'm just bringing this. For brushes for eyeshadow, I'm just bringing my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and my e.l.f. blending eye brush. Just because they're cheap, they're cheerful and yeah, just brushes. I'm also bringing my e.l.f. eyelash curlers just because I always feel like I need eyelash curlers to help my eyelashes go bigger because I have very short eyelashes and this just helps. For mascaras, I'm bringing my Maybelline The Falsies. This is like a new tube of it because I ran out in the last one. And yeah, I'm just using my Maybelline The Falsies, which I love, and pairing it with the Thick and Fast Super Volume Mascara from Soap and Glory. And this has like the biggest wand ever. Um, and I just like to pair these together because this kind of adds like the lengthening, lengthening and this adds the volumization. so I just love these two together. And the last thing is lips. Now I'm bringing my handbag with me too and it always has a Vaseline in it so I'm definitely bringing a Vaseline but that's just already in my handbag. First I'm just going to be bringing the 17 Ultimate Volume like lip gloss. Um, and it just has, it's like a pink champagne colour with lots and lots of glitter but the glitter doesn't really transpire onto your lips and it just gives you like a lovely like nude colour. For lipsticks I'm just bringing like an array of colours, I don't know why I brought them all but like just so I have like a mix and match of them. Um, the first one is Maybelline's Colour Sensation or something in Electric Orange 912 and it's just an orange colour, it does not come out this orange. Um, but I just like to wear this when I want to pop of colour. I've not really got much going on in the eyes and I like to just put this on. Next is from L'Oreal and it's the Colour Riche in 380 Luminous Coral. And it's just like this nice nude colour. It comes out quite nude on me. Um, just with like your lips but better kind of colour. Um, and I like the packaging, it looks quite sleek and nice. And yeah, this is just for days that I don't really want to have too much going on in the lips. The next is the Kate Moss and this one is in the um, the ones that are kind of matte and this is in shade 107. It's just like this dark plummy red and I just love this for like the autumn time. Even though it's still class as summer, I like this for the autumn. The next is a Rimmel one again and it's in 128 Starry Eyed and this is my favourite lipstick of like ever. But I think the weather isn't really the time for it. But um, this is more like a winter lipstick, but it's like a dark, plummy, plummy red, like a dark red. Probably a purple more, but um, <laughs> I love this colour so much. Um, and I just wanted to bring it just in case I want to wear it. So that's it for my travel makeup. Um, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye!